I'm Ken Rockwell. Let's have a look at this new 35mm f0.95 full frame lens that I just got from some friends in China. Let's see what I've got here and what is this? This is a, actually an unboxing video. I'm not going to shoot it yet. This is the first ever f0.95 lens I've seen in a 35mm relatively wide angle lens from anybody, anywhere for a full frame camera. This is for Venus Lao Optics from China. Actually, this was shipped to me, I think it came from Hong Kong, actually, not China. But here are some basic specs. This, indeed, is a full-frame lens. What's important is it comes for Sony E, Nikon Z, and Canon R full-frame cameras. This could be the fastest, most hand-holdable lens ever made. Because other F095s are 50 millimeters, this is a wider lens, so you can hand-hold them at slower speeds. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this thing. It's still sealed. Brand spanking new. This hasn't even been released yet. Of course, it will be by the time it's here. Or so I think. <laughs> Let's see. Actually, do I need to open this more? No. Leave the plastic on there. Ooh. You guys are going to see it at the same time I do. This just, FedEx just brought this to me direct from Hong Kong. Okay. Historically, their boxes have been, look at this. Gee, I wonder what color this is. Actually, that almost looks like a Tiffany's box on video here, but I don't think it is in person. It's more green in person. Okay, silica gel, throw away. You know, actually, I don't ever throw these away. I actually stick these into my camera drawer. I have no idea how long they last. Ooh, look at this. Okay, let's save the best for last. Let's QC, wow, just like a Leica lens. Look at that. It's got a little stamp on there. How cool is that? Quality certificate. Ooh, look at that. Guarantee car. You don't get that every day. An actual card does a scan that you can scan after cell service direct to China. Again, this is a Chinese made lens designed and built domestically in China. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Here's the instructions. Again, I'm going to save the lens for last. Okay, good. It's an authentic Chinese, which I'm sure you guys can all read. I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I used to love watching Get Smart, so. Of the stuff they would do on that. Anyway, that's not really relevant. Okay, good. For those of you who read Chinese, it's marvelous. And in English. Actually, you guys probably want to see this. Okay. Oh, internal focusing. Video. Oh, it's got a switchable, declickable aperture spot. Minimal focus breathing. We'll see. Most of the lenses that claim to have minimal focus breathing have focus breathing. So we'll see. Internal focus. That's good. Okay, yeah, multiple floating groups. That's awesome. That's how it keeps optimum performance at different focus distances. Again, these sound really good in specs, but how well it performs, it is an extremely difficult lens to design to work well. That is actually a wide lens at f0.95. We'll see how much corner fall off it has. That's when I actually do my real review, which is not this. This is an unboxing. only manual focus. Now it's not autofocus. This is basically 1970s mechanical and exposure design here. This is the same as the lens. It even looks like a lens you get in the 1970s. Well, let's see. In terms of cleanliness with this extreme resolution, it's not perfectly clean. That's historically what I see. Okay, we've got a serial number here. Uh, these are nice. These are actually engraved and filled with paint. Plastic cap. Hood's attached. Plastic hood. Most of the lens is metal. That's good. Just just like the 1970s. Does this come off? Oh, interesting. It doesn't really click. Oh, it does click. It just didn't arrive clicked. It's got a blue line around it. How cool is that? It's got different colors. That's nice. I wonder what they're going to charge for this lens. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm just borrowing this. Ooh, it focuses nicely. Actually, this feels nicer than Nikon 58mm f0.95. This is smoother. Focuses down to, okay. That's not that close, actually. Depth of field scale. Ooh, 095. Now, I feel no clicks. Ah, this is not good. It's a very nonlinear scale. And by nonlinear, I mean, well, it's not a logarithmic scale. Usually having equal steps for equal stops. You'll notice to go between f8 and f16, it's very much... Imprecise. Ah, but we can turn off clicks. Now let's see how that works. Okay. 
it has clicks only at full stops which is good this way you can set quarter stops or half stops or whatever you like eh typical for domestic Chinese manufacture it's not exactly on the stops and it's a little sloppy here for instance can I find F11 versus F16 yeah it's a little difficult and again this cannot be controlled electronically are there any electronic contacts not a single one so admittedly it's going to be imperfect in use in any camera Let's see if the real elements move around and focused what happens in the fo ooh now, it had said it had a 15-blade diaphragm. That is a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah. Data likes. Made in China, engraved here. Is there a serial in there? No, not a serial in there. It's the serial's on the front of the barrel here. Data like. Oh, yeah. For those of you with kids, data likes. Ooh, baby. That is a beautiful diaphragm. And that's admittedly, that is, look how round it is. You see how, let's see, I've got the lens pointed straight on here. You see how round that is? You don't usually see that in conventional lenses because the diaphragms that have to move very quickly and can be controlled electronically usually aren't very uniform in their roundness. This is a beautiful thing. I could play with this all day, but I won't. Does it have an infinity stop? No. It's very lax on the infinity stop. There is no stop. Or, you know, it does stop here. Now, we'll see when I actually put it on my camera. This is just an unboxing video to let you see what we got. This is a hefty little lens. Again, it comes for full-frame mirrorless mounts. It should be fun to play with. The real question is going to be, is it sharp and cutting and contrasty at f0.95, or is it blurry and kind of crappy at f0.95? I've seen both things happen from these ultra speed lenses from China, so we will see. The OA tends to make some pretty good optics. I've reviewed some of their other lenses, and although the mechanics are kind of like 1970s era, the optics have been first rate. So we will see. So thanks again for watching KenRockwell.com here on KenRockwell.tv, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.